Hello, hello, and welcome back to In Case of Emergency. We are here at Wes's apartment. He's the hot one. <laughs> Why am I like this? <laughs> Look at this Tigor. Look at him. He's so grumpy. <laughs> No, uh, he's on the phone. He's a little angry, I guess. I don't know. I want to lay on him. He looks comfortable. <clears throat> Bits and pieces of the conversation bleed out from the, from the phone. Whomever's on the other end is shouting over the sounds of a party. <laughs> Check the news, quick! Uh, surely... Wait, is this sh surely? A uh, baby, not now. No, I don't love her more than you, Anne. No, there's the sound of water splashing and girls giggling. As someone pops a bottle in the distance and people cheer. You can't have waited to call me. No, I'm literally on the yacht right now watching the TV through an, through an open doorway. You're lucky I called you as quick as I did. Hey, Rebecca, uh, not there. Wes finally lands on the channel. On the news channel, CEO of Lift All Enterprise, uh, Harold Wesley Bates uh, announces the engagement between his son and the daughter of Cordor Cordoroy Cordoroy Collins of the Adverse Combo Corporation. Uh, Bates denied any connection between this alliance and recent antitrust laws, insisting that this union was born from the purity of emotion. Wes abruptly turns off the television, uh, knitting his eyebrows together in frustration. Did you know about this? Hey, blame Dad! I always do. He's the one who pulled the trigger. Shareholders are excited that... Whoa, Emily. Uh, is that a little uh, spin for me? <laughs> Great. Fantastic. Uh, the stock's rising uh, rising for the first time in a year. Uh -huh, I'm sure. Do people even believe what he's saying? Yeah, man. It's all... <clears throat> Excuse me. It's all being unpackaged as love is love. Uh, they hired some ad... Uh, activist influence, active influencers to promote it as a freedom of marriage. Great. Uh, thanks for letting me know. Don't call me again. Hey, uh, Gina, and I, uh, can I? Oh, you're not. A a Angel, I'm sorry. I would never mix up. There's a, a resounding crack through the phone line, the unmistakable sound of someone being slapped. Several people scream, uh, far away, the sound muffled as though traveling through water, and then the line goes silent. Wes sighs, flippantly tossing his phone on the uh, cushioned couch. <sighs> Wanna go for a swim? I could use some fresh air. Uh, who was that? My asshole brother, letting me know that the engagement is finally official. Oh, uh, who's getting married? Actually, you have a pretty good guess, but you spent the last five minutes busy riding the uh, high of finding gay porn on his uh, in his apartment. <laughs> I'm engaged. And there's the other shoe. You don't sound very excited about it. That's because I'm not. I'm practically it's practically an arranged marriage between our families. To the daughter of that guy. That's so medieval. Is that even allowed? Oh, sorry. It look, is that is the game audio loud? No, that looks fine. Okay, sorry. I had a my other window with OBS is all was weirdly scrunched. Yeah, it's just business. I'm not expecting to actually love her or anything, which is a relief because she's not my type. What is your type? Hot, interesting, clumsy guys who ask too many questions. Ah, uh, uh. <laughs> Wait, I can be that. <laughs> he smirks at you, making the fur on your arm stand in anticipation. Woof. Come on, talking about this stuff is bumming me out. Let's go for a fucking swim. West reaches around the hem and pulls his shirt to what hem of his shirt with two hands, pulling off the garment in a smooth, practiced motion. 
Uh, he shakes the fur around his neck out and uh, rolls his shoulders backwards in small circles, his biceps flexing with the movement. Either he knows he's hot, or he's so unaware of it that he's no that he feels no shame at showing off his body like this. His uh his hands uh, hook around the band of his waistband that his sweats next. <laughs> But in a respectful way. <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> what? What? We're 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 enjoying respectfully. Uh, he watches Wes extracts himself from his legs of, from the legs of his pants. Uh, hopping on one foot as he pulls the other from the bottom hem. He crumples his clothes in his hands and tosses them over his shoulder without looking. He has a wrestler's build, stocky with a broad chest, thick thighs, and smooth transitions between the planes of his muscles. His tail traces... That traces a controlled, a delicate path in the uh, air behind him as he pushes past the uh, doors to the patio. <laughs> There's a serious strength beneath a layer of soft down. Uh, the wa uh, You watch the uh, ripple of corded uh, muscles under fur as he takes a practiced run and leaps into the dark water of the pool, sending up a splash of water that drenches the surrounding chairs. Oh. When he comes up for air, he flips the uh, wet he flips the wet hair out of his eyes and uh, wipes at his face with two large paws. He drifts silently for a moment, looking over, uh, looking out over the city skyline. Uh, below it, contemplative uh, silence before calling for you. Uh, come on, the water's fucking cold. And is that a good, good thing? Oh, it was good, good. Oh, cute. Cute. <laughs> Just sit in the, the, the thing together, right? Wait, but well, the next week flies by too quickly. Wait. I mean, it did. What did we do? Did we have a good night? Did we sleep with him? Did we come? Come on! <laughs> or maybe it can't go fast enough. With preparation for the journey well underway, the path from your dorm to read. Redoubt hall, red, re, redoubt halls, uh, faulty, faulty emergency exits uh, becomes a well-trodden one. Every morning is the same, yet different from any other. Instead of your usual routine of waking up while it's still dark outside, pulling the covers over your head and drifting in and out of dreams until the sound of traffic becomes unbearable around nine or ten or whatever. Then stumbling into the common room kitchen to stare at the rattling coffee machine until it delivers you from yeah delivers you from the melancholy of morning. Ugh. Okay. You find yourself waking up at seven a.m. sharp in the sack tear sack. Sacharine, Sacharine, a sound of your phone's default alarm. Is it saccharin? That's not that word. That's not how that's spelled. There was an e at the end. Uh, for once, it's uh, it doesn't sound like the ch chorus of birds and harpists are mocking you. You're out of the door and in the air conditioned basement at the philosoph. Wait philosophy department before the summer heat can become muggy and oppressive. Sometimes you pass by Professor Abbott, unlocking the door to his office, who seems unconcerned by the presence of an obnoxiously perky undergrad in an academic building before nine. Your middle school counselor was right. You can be high on life. You haven't even noticed the gloom and, and doubt until it was gone. Like tasting clear, cool water for the first time, you realize your whole life has just been lukewarm replica of the real thing. Here in the real world, finally, after years of it being just out of your reach, not only that, it's been waiting for you the whole time. The thought makes you smile. You've been doing so well, 
in fact, uh, that you haven't, uh, <clears throat> you haven't thought about your father in nearly a week. And as you make your way down the staircase, you continue not to think about him. The staircase is very, very long, and it's mercifully finite. <clears throat> but it's mercifully finite, and eventually it depo deposits uh, you at the entrance of the uh, castle wall, hall, uh, where the staff rush, where the staff rush to take your bags and guide you to the dining room. Okay. Most days there's a spread of food waiting for you, the table overflowing with flaky pastries, flaky, flaky. Some dusted with fine sugar, others with a tart glaze piled on top of a ceramic plate, semicolon, uh, bowls of pitted nectarine, wait, nectarine halves and fat, emerald grapes, ah, excuse me, and small glass jars of jam, pale butter, and honey, each with an engraved metal spoon set in its contents. And sometimes the others are already there, making conversation over their cups of tea at the <clears throat> as the sun streams in through the tall, rectangular windows. Wes rarely eats, though he shows up every morning at exactly eight, a small gym bag slung over his shoulder and his fur damp from the shower. When you ask him about it, he tells you, I went to the gym, had a protein shake. Which makes you all the more aware that what you've discovered is happiness, not discipline. Because while you're thrilled to be uh, to wake up at seven for scones and whipped cream, you can't imagine waking up early to pump iron and down a, a chalky mixture of whey, wee wo, wee wo, and sucralose, sucralose, right? It's not sucralose. It's like sucrose. No, that's not how this is. I don't know. I don't know what these words are. It's not that bad. It's a habit from playing sports my whole life. When did you play? I did some wrestling, tennis, swimming, uh, fencing. Football? No, a little bit of lacrosse and water polo, but those never stuck. You gather that he's not a team sport kind of guy. Uh, Remus and Cedric he, uh, usually file in soon afterwards, uh, polite and thankful to the castle. Wait, polite and thankful to the castle staff for the spread. Uh, Cedric always carries himself a little like he didn't uh, quite belong, and the effect at all, went, and the effect is all the more pronounced next to Remus's air of gravitas. Uh, good morning. Uh, help yourselves. Training today. Cedric coughs as he bites his pastry, sending up a cloud of powdered sugar. Uh, lands, uh, some of it lands on his nose. Uh, yes, uh, of course. We're um, working on parries. Luke is almost always the last to arrive, a wrinkled button down tossed over his shirt as he rubs his blurry eyes in the doorway. And caffeine. Now. He staggers zombie-like to the uh, tea kettle and pours himself a cup, alterna alternating between blowing away the steam, taking sips, and uh, quietly um, pronouncing... Wait, pronouncing, yes. Hot, hot, hot. Uh, man, I wish this place was in a different time zone that lined up with my sleep schedule. Then you'd just go to sleep later. Luke raises his brows, his eyebrows, and bobs his head up and down in begrudging assess, at, begrudging, begrudging assess, ascent, as scent. The caffeine hasn't kicked in yet, uh, making him uncharacteristically quiet. And so most of your days pass like this. In the mornings, Wes runs, uh, runs you through basic training drills and exercises, teaching you the bare essentials for wielding a pointy stick without hurting yourself. I'm, uh, I'm a better player than a coach. But you have no complaints. More importantly, he's a good excuse for his hands to brush against yours, steadying your back and hips with his firm grip. 
he has to uh, know what he's doing, uh, doing to you, especially after a close call sends uh, the two of you tumbling into the training room sand pit, his thighs pressed against your crotch. Your breathing, hit, yeah, breathing hitches as the blood in your body runs south, and the uh, smell of his sweet, woody shampoo mingling with the salt of, of your sweat. He's well built. His well built uh, form hovers above you for a moment too long, and his powerful th <laughs> uh, thigh flexes against you as he rises, and then he casually dusts himself off and helps you to your feet. Come on, big boy, let's try that again! The flirting never really stops either, but for every smirk that cracks his usual bla blase demeanor, there's a somberness that accompanies it. When he thinks uh, no one is looking, he unconsciously, maybe, uh, winds the ring around his finger, uh, gazing uh, anxiously at some point, uh, some point in the distance you can't see. A week of this song and dance, and you're not sure uh, you're actually learned anything but the location of the closest room uh, to a cold bath. Wait, the location of the closest... Okay, yes. And uh, contemplate uh, what the rules are for sex before marriage, but after engagement. Afterwards, you spend a good hour or so pestering Luke in the library, who seems grateful for the distraction. It takes a minute to get through his demeanor, but he finally reveals that he's been developing the magic for a kind of uh, an invulnerable shield. He insists that it's a, um, free, wait, fringe theory at best, but there's a genuine enthusiasm in how he talks about it. He keeps, wait, he keeps tell you, uh, he keeps telling you? Uh, there's a book out there that'll, uh, reveal how to go god mode. Okay, Luke. Then it's lunch, and the uh, dinner dining room is again, as though by magic, stocked with uh, steaming loaves of bread and carved meat. <laughs> and you're a freshman all over again, trying to figure out how not to gorge yourself on the vast variety of food readily available to you all at once. You learn quickly, though, because uh, soon after lunch is Cedric's turn to pull you aside and correct anything you've learned that morning. <laughs> but Wes said, And he hasn't had the training I've had. Hmm, I see, I see. What a little stick in the mud. <laughs> is any, do, do any of you like Cedric? Is he, uh, is he anyone's, like, favorite? <laughs> Genuinely curious. Tell me in the comments. Uh, your training goes uh, relatively smoothly. Uh, fortunately, you're still new, uh, still new enough to the uh, task that small ac wait, accomplishments uh, translate to major relative improvements in skill. Uh, being part of a full for for pro prophecy uh, probably helps, uh, though you're still not sure exactly what's expected of you. Without any formal obligations, it's easy enough to waste your afternoon uh, aimlessly wandering the halls of the castle. It's quieter than you initially realized, which most of the hu uh, with most of the hustle and bustle confined to areas around the central hall. The farther you get from the uh, castle's heart, the stranger the rooms get. Uh, one door leads to a room of clocks, old, dusty grandfather clocks with enormous pendulums. Intricate, well-mounted ones wrapped in metal vines. And small, stout ones meant to be set on the desk, with hands that remind you of the handlebar mustache and seem <clears throat> and seem liable to come to life and break into song. Terrible. All the clocks are broken, frozen at different points in time. If a, clock, if a broken clock is right twice a day, maybe a whole room of them could be right, uh, could be right, could be right that many more times, okay. Another room features bathtubs stacked on top of one another, and yet another appears to be an abandoned planetarium, except instead of planets revolving around the sun, the colorful or uh, glass orbs spin around a uh, larger-than-life skeletal crawl wait, life skeleton curled in a fetal position. Okay shore, and down a long, quiet hallway and behind a pale green door appears to be a small church, a pews on either side of a 
a moth-eaten carpet that leads to a lonely, dust-covered pulpit. A leather, a leather-bound book rests on its surface. Pick it up. Your hands reach around the book. A fine uh, layer of dust falls off, uh, off it as you disturb it. It leaves behind a clean rectangle of wood in the, in the dust. Whoa. Okay. Actually, we will do here. We will end the part here. So I will see you around, everyone.